Sam's Trains here, welcome back to the railway and welcome back to another locomotive review. Today as you can tell I'm looking at yet another fantastic Thomas and Friends locomotive from Hornby and this one is of course Henry the Green Engine and you can just about see him in there back in the shadows. He doesn't look too happy to be back in his box so I will get him out as soon as possible. Anyway, let me show the end of the box because you can see that he is Henry the Green Engine R9292 and uh, all of these boxes are actually the same from the uh, Hornby Thomas range but I will briefly show you what's on the back. So of course you have all of the locomotives there and I think I have all of those now but I still need to review Edward. And then of course you can see the different rolling stock on there and I don't have very much of that so I'm thinking I ought to try and get some so if you have any that you recommend please let me know. But anyway, let's get old Henry out then and uh, see what he's like, shall we? Uh, so, yes, I'm just going to open this box this end. Okay. Right, let's have a look at the instructions first then. So, these instructions are actually for the Railroad Black 5 and Henry. And if you look at the model, you'll notice it is exactly the same as the Hornby Railroad Black 5. Um, so, that is quite interesting and it means it's also loco-driven as well. Anyway, inside here you can see a little bit on uh, how to lubricate, uh, how to take the couplings off and things, and how to fit the decoder. We're not too bothered about all of that, we just want to see Henry, don't we? So, we're going to do that straight away. Move that. Okay, so I'll take this sleeve off. It's always good fun opening this package in, I feel. Okay, let me put him in the middle. Okay, let's get this open then. Right this bit of plastic out of the way. Now because he's loco driven um, there isn't any uh, connection between the loco and tender permanently so you can just take them out separately which is nice. Now the first thing I've got to say about the tender is when I first took it out of the packaging uh, I put it on the track and it got it to try and run and the tender would just not run it would literally just derail immediately and what I found was underneath the metal tyres were just completely loose. On two or three of the wheels, the metal tyres had just come off the green wheels. They were just completely off. And I found that all of the others were completely loose as well, so I took them all off and super glued them back on. Now, uh, luckily, that seems to have fixed it, but that is a real quality issue, and it's not very nice for children, is it, if they, uh, you know, excited about getting their Henry, and all of the tender wheels just fall to bits. It's, it's a real quality problem. But mine seems to be okay now, but it's worth mentioning that. Um, but I must say, elsewhere on the locomotive, I haven't found any uh, other quality problems. Anyway, let's have a look at Henry then. Here he is, number three. Uh, yeah, he's, def he's clearly a black five, isn't he? And it really is a very, very nice shade of green, as you can see here. So let me just put the tender with him. It's a very heavy tender, just like the black five one was. But there we go. There we go then. Henry the Green Engine. What a brilliant looking model he is. Anyway, I'm going to review him for you in just a second. But first of all, here is a little bit of history on Henry, because he's quite a, an interesting chap, it's Henry. So uh, here we go then. So Henry arrived on Sodor in 1922, having been sold to Sir Topham Hatt as a useless locomotive. During his early life, Henry experienced some quite troubling experiences too, including being bricked up inside a tunnel, and he was always a little bit worrisome as a result of the trauma, and uh, often he ran badly as well. In 1935, he was rebuilt from a Gresley design into a Stania Black 5, and he finally became an excellent engine, easily pulling the express train, uh, making Gordon a little bit jealous in the process. And Henry is still a Black 5 today, and he continues to work as an actor in Thomas and Friends. He's currently 98 years old, and so he will soon be celebrating his 100th birthday, but he's still going strong. So let's have a look at the model then. So there's Henry then looking fantastic for you and I always start by showing you their faces. So there is Henry's face. Uh, it's a very nicely uh, moulded face. I do detect a little bit of worry in his eyes though. I don't know about you. Uh, it's alright Henry, it's only a review. I, I reckon he's probably worried about his ratings but uh, yeah, that, that's nothing to worry about Henry. Anyway, as you can see, it's probably one of the most detailed uh, of the Thomas and Friends range. Uh, as you can see, he is done into the lovely uh, green. Um, I don't think it has a specific name, does it? We'll just call it uh, 
Henry Green. But it does have the red lining along the boiler there, which seems to be applied quite nicely. And uh, as I think it was with uh, Percy as well, he has the red along his running board, which is quite nice. But there's quite a lot of lining uh, in general. You can see on his cylinders, look, he's got the red stripes. And on the sides of his cab as well, he's got the red lining around the uh, the main sort of cab and then the yellow lining around the windows. So uh, yes, you're a very nicely painted engine, aren't you, Henry? There's a fair few separately fitted parts on this one as well. Luckily, the safety valves are separately fitted and uh, they are in sort of like a copper colour as well. And on his front buffer beam and the back one, in fact, uh, but you can see there there is a vacuum pipe which is fitted. I'm not sure whether the buffers are separately fitted or not, but they're not sprung. Let me show you. Yeah, they're just uh, static buffers, but that's not too much of a worry. Um, as you can see, there's a fair bit of moulded detail as well, including some pipe work here and uh, the reverser rod, which uh, it's fair enough that that isn't separately fitted. You know, it's supposed to be a toy. You don't want it to be too fragile, do you? Um, inside Henry's cam, you can see there is quite a bit of detail inside there, but none of it's painted. But that's okay, because uh, we're not normally looking in his cab, or we'd be looking at his worried face. Um, so yes, quite a nicely detailed loco, as you can see. Oh yeah, and it's got the handrails as well, which are separately fitted. I don't think I mentioned that. So yes, quite a nicely painted model. I think it's one of my favourite uh, liveries, actually, from the Thomas range. Uh, I just like the fact that the running board is done into this grey, as you can see, and uh, that just uh, contrasts with the green quite nicely, I think. He's a very good looking guy, isn't he, I must admit. Okay, here is the tender then, as you can see, and uh, yes, it is the same as the uh, Hornby Black 5 tender, as you'd expect which means it's also very heavy, just as a bit of a side note. But yeah, there's his number three, very nicely applied, as you can see. And uh, as you'd probably expect, he's got the uh, red lining around the side of the tender there. As you can see, his coal load is quite nicely detailed as well. Quite large scale, but that is not too bad. And as I was saying, around the back, you can see there is the separately fitted vacuum pipe, as well as quite a bit of moulded detail there. So yes, generally not a bad quality model, really, apart from that uh, tender wheel issue. I can't find anything really bad to say about him. Uh, for the price, certainly very good, and uh, he certainly looks quite happy, if a little bit worried, doesn't he? Anyway, let's get him tested then, let's see how he runs, and uh, we'll put him out of his misery, shall we? Okay, here we go. Okay, so there he is then, Henry down onto the track, and in fact, I've just gone to give him a bit of a warm-up, and I noticed there was a clicking sound coming from him when he ran, and I investigated and found that the crank pins here were actually loose, and that, that was causing the clicking and uh, what I had to do was use this which is like a hex nut spinner um, to tighten them all up um, before they uh, you know unravel completely and the uh, rods drop off and bend so that they will never work again so yeah that isn't too great is it out of the box uh, I suppose he's been running for 10 minutes in total and uh, that was already a massive problem but uh, remember not many people have got this kind of thing lying around it's not exactly a, a household item so, uh, yes, uh, the quality control is certainly questionable, isn't it? You know, it, it reminds me of, uh, have you ever seen Santa Claus the movie? When Patch builds that toy making machine, but it doesn't work properly and it just makes broken toys and then all the children cry on Christmas morning because their toys are literally useless. Well, now we know what happened to Patch's toy machine. Hornby bought it and they're using it to make trains. But yeah, seriously, it's not all that good though, is it? Can you imagine an eight-year-old saving up all year? And they'd be saving for a very long time because these things are expensive. And, uh, you know, they buy a Henry like this and the tyres are broken off on the on the tender and the, all the, prank, the crank pins are loose and so he can't run. I mean, luckily he hasn't got uh, <laughs> lump irons because they can't put those in right either. But people coming into the hobby on the Thomas range will think Hornby is rubbish because they just can't seem to get it right. And that's a real shame because not only will it disappoint people, but it will put people off the hobby. And that is something Hornby really don't need. But anyway, uh, I'll show you what else is on the line. He is working okay now, by the way. Um, so he is about to couple up to four LMS coaches, which is sort of right because uh, I suppose in real life, uh, Stania Class 5 would have been pulling those. And then on the middle line, I have put the Stania Class 5, the, uh, the Black 5, number 5112. And she's pulling some milk wagons, just there as you can see, which looks quite nice, they're LMS. And then on the inner line, Gordon got a little bit jealous of Henry because uh, he wanted to pull some express coaches as well. So he's got some teaks, as you can see, uh, quite a few LNER teaks there, so hopefully he will enjoy pulling those for you. But for now then, let's get Henry tested, and as I say, I know he's working now, um, thank goodness. But uh, yeah, I seriously thought when I saw all this uh, jamming up and clicking, I thought I would have to send it back, but no, I've managed to source it. 
Okay. Slow speed, not very good. It seems a bit better at this speed. Let's try forwards though, we might be better going forwards. Uh, a little bit. Yeah, it's not bad, is it, to be honest? It is loco driven though, which is a plus. It's quite smooth at those higher speeds, to be fair. Yeah, that's not bad actually, is it? Well done, Henry. Good job. Okay, go and couple to your coaches then. Let's see what you can do. There we go. I hope he's coupled to them. There we go. I just thought I'd put him next to the Black 5 for a second for you. So you can probably see the similarities there, can't you? They are definitely the same tooling. Right, let me make sure these coaches have coupled because the coupling hook doesn't fall down. So you have to do it yourself. Okay. Well, that looks good. Let's take him off then, if I remember to change direction. Yes, I did. There we go. That's nice and easy, isn't it, Henry? You see, you are a good puller. Okay, now the Black 5 is running on DCC, so I'm just going to get that going. See, she started today. I think in that running session that she was last in, she didn't. Anyway, let's start Gordon then. Let's hope he can manage all six coaches, shall we? But uh, I think he can. Come on then, Gordon. Show us what you can do if you're so desperate to show off. You want to go forwards, though, mate. That may have been my fault, Gordon, actually. I won't, I won't blame you for that one. There we go, anyway. Look at that. Gordon with his express. OK, enjoy this running session, then. Let's have a go and see if you can spot some of the Thomas characters on the line as well. There he goes, past his friend. Won't say his name in case you're trying to guess who they are. I think everyone knows the red engine. Here comes the black five. Looking brilliant as she goes. Well, you're not going to believe this after what I've just been saying, but uh, I've had to stop for a second because... Guess what's wrong with Gordon? Yep, let me try and show you this time. Um, so, yeah, this crank pin is loose, look. So, these wheels are stuck. As you can see, that is not supposed to be like that. So I'm going to have to try and fix that. Uh, hopefully I can. And uh, then we'll carry on. Well, I've managed to sort him out. I just noticed he was going really slowly. And uh, when I looked closely, his wheels weren't going round. Because uh, he's tender driven, of course. But uh, yeah, Hornby have definitely bought Patch's toy making machine, haven't they? <laughs> Without a doubt. I don't know. He's brand new. I've had him less than six months. I don't know. Luckily, as I say, I'm able to fix it, but a lot of people won't be able to. And that just means, you know, £100 wasted, throw it away. And I hope people wouldn't throw them away, but they could, you know. Because if those uh, rods get bent, they never really work the same again afterwards. It's not good. Having said that though, he does look good, doesn't he? Now that he is working properly. Yep, and uh, I'm still waiting on the turf, by the way, to put on the hill, so still not got that back in there yet, but hopefully within two videos' time it should be back. Still waiting for it. Here's the Black 5. Slowed it down a little bit because it was just flying a bit too quickly. Didn't want it to spill its milk. And now for my ratings then on the Hornby Henry. First of all, detail 6 out of 10. Obviously the detail is what it needs to be, but it isn't super detailed, is it? So I can't give it high marks. 6 out of 10. Performance, 8 out of 10. Now that it's working properly, I must admit he is a fairly good runner, so not bad marks there. Character, 10 out of 10. I just love his face. They got the colour just right, it looks like to me. So I'm pretty happy with that, 10 out of 10. Build quality, obviously there are some serious issues. Um, it's not necessarily uh, poor design, it's just poor assembly. Uh, so 6 out of 10 there. Value, I paid £65 for mine, so that isn't too bad I suppose, 9 out of 10. So overall, 7.36 out of 10. Not a terrible score, but that ranks him 26th, just below the Hornby 040s and just above the Triang Princess.
Henry's definitely not keen about going inside this tunnel though. I don't know why. He looked at me like I'd said something awful when I made him go in there. Okay then everybody, well I do hope you enjoyed seeing Henry today. He's definitely enjoyed running for you and he's got his confidence back a bit now. Now that I've fixed him. <laughs> Anyway, if you did like the video, please feel free to leave it a like or even a comment because I do love it when you guys get in touch. And also, if you'd like to, you can check out the Facebook and Twitter pages and they are at facebook.com forward slash samstrains or twitter.com forward slash samstrains. Also, if you'd like, you can have your name put up on this wall of fame. All you have to do is email in your drawings, photos or anything you like to samstrains at outlook.com and I will print them off and put them up on the wall for you and you might see yours in a video or something. But for now everybody, once again, thank you very much for watching, I do appreciate your company of course, and I'll see you very soon for some more trains. Alright then everybody, see you soon, cheers everyone. <laughs>